everybody and welcome to another Jurassic World unboxing video but today we are getting back to basics because well also we're doing this again because as you can see you may notice that there are some characters of the box that we have here which is kind of spoiling the surprise we are well they're out and you may be wondering why well it's because um I accidentally forgot to record the audio for the video so yeah oopsies but we're gonna try again the audio is recording this time I have guaranteed it but we spoiler alert I already like built this and stuff and did like everything and stuff but we're gonna do it again because why not it's fun and also you know I wish that how I was feeling was like how these characters would be feeling with this temperature, you know, the coldness, as you can see with blue in this cup. But it's like a million degrees outside, and oh my god, ow, I just hit a T Rex. But today, we're gonna just jump right into it because we got blue set for the Lego set. This is the blue and beta set that features Maisie and um, Rain Delacour. Again, for Rain, this is like the I think this is the third set that features him, if I'm not mistaken. Again, I wish there was more variety. Like, they could have easily had this as one of the other poachers and stuff, like maybe the undercover agent or something, or even like have Rain in this one, and then in the Malta set that features him, have Barry, because we still don't have a Barry, because, well, they're... Lego seriously failed with um, these sets for like the human characters at least. Enough of that thinking. Here we get those and also we get the um, unique figure for Beta as you could see if you have this. And also if we look at the side of the box it shows both of them once again. Just like all of them. The dinosaurs that are featured like if we have the Giganotosaurus set it's going to feature the Giga here. On the back of the box actually it shows all the features of it which it's only two things that really come with the set apart from the characters and that's a little trap thing for beta because spoiler alert if you somehow have yet to see either version of the movie beta in fact gets captured which ignites the plot well actually it's both her and Maisie who get captured by Rain Delacourt and his men. That's what's the inciting incident for Claire and Owen as they get their side of the story entered into the Dominion storyline but anyway this is a nice set that represents a scene that is integral to the movie itself and I think we should waste no more time and let's just uh get building Okay, guys, after 23 minutes exactly later, we have a driving vehicle. And well, I gotta say, for a smaller set, actually, I am kind of surprised by how good it is, actually. Like, the trap and the little log feature is, like, nice and stuff. The truck is, like, of course, the main thing. And you know what? It looks pretty good. I would say I do wish that there was, like, stickers or something to make it look more... Or, like, if the pieces were more rusted looking, because that's what the truck sort of looked like. But... 
The main feature, I think, for this set's success, because I know it's actually quite popular with people, and I think I know why. And it's probably due to this specific piece here, which is Blue the Velociraptor. And also we can throw in we can throw in Beta as well, because she's also there. And the obvious thing is that how good she looks, because if I grab one of them, because I actually have two, the other one's right there, if we just grab the Fallen Kingdom, I don't have the Jurassic World set because I didn't get like any toys for Jurassic World when it came out, but I've got two of, of Blue's Fallen Kingdom because if I'm not mistaken she was in two sets, right? She was in the helicopter and Lockwood I think it was? We finally have Blue looking accurate, because not only does she have the proper gray color scheme that she's always had, as you can see on this cup here if, you know, focuses enough, but not only that, the blue stripe itself is correct, because if you look on the side that's appearing, which is the right side, she's got the blue going all the way across her eye here in the proper shape, but if you turn it, <gasps> gasp, shock, it's also not completed on that side. I was gonna say it's the same on the other side, but no, it actually stops where it's supposed to. Unlike this one where it's like, you know, the blue stripe just sort of stops and then she has like a lot of makeup around her eye, basically. That's the, how I envision it. But also, she looks so much better and honestly just, there's no competition on which blue is the best. The fact that this one includes some like, scale definition actually and like a white highlight around the blue stripe as well like they could have just made it simply gray blue stripe eyeballs done but they also add these like yellow veins and stuff which is similar to like the look of her that she has in the movie to sort of show the scale work and stuff but also let's just get this thing out of here like put it over there but like even the fact that they did it on beta which also i must say i love this beta figure because even though it's pretty much the exact same as the um, other like baby raptor figure, this one shows it as like older and stuff. And it's actually, if I'm not mistaken, a little bit bigger. Now lethal at eight months, and I do mean lethal. For this, I would give this set a solid eight. But this is the only one with Maisie, and I gotta say, for Maisie especially, I really do like um, this um, look for. I love the hat with hair sticking out. I would have preferred that she also came with a piece that was just her um, hair because, you know, in the movie she doesn't always wear this hat, so like if you're setting these up for like a later scene when she's facing off against the Giga with the rest of the heroes, she wasn't wearing a hat in that. But that's just me, that's a little nitpick, maybe, who knows. But all in all, this set is actually pretty good. Good characters with it. I don't really care for Rain that much. But that's just me, guys. What do you think of this set? Is it your favorite of the Dominion sets? And don't worry, guys, we will get back into unboxing as well. At the moment, can't really do other videos right now, like gaming videos, because it's a pain in the butt to control half of a controller with this block in the way. But until the next unboxing video, guys, whatever that be, Lego set toy, I don't know. But if you've enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like. And if you haven't already, do hit the subscribe button to join the hunt. Hunt? Sorry, not hount. Sorry, I'm... Ugh. Gummy... Gummy lips means terrible tongue, apparently. Enjoyed the video? Leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't. And for all of you who are waiting for my review, don't worry, as soon as this video is edited and uploaded to you guys, I'm going to be getting straight to work on that. But until next time, guys, be safe and blue. Oh, well, there goes that one. That's, is that the faulty like one? Yep, it's a faulty like one. I'll just leave her here. But until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.